She may be a psychopath, but she sure has style. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 villanelle outfits on Killing Eve. For this list, we'll be looking at the most memorable looks that this character wears in this black comedy drama spy thriller's first three seasons. Number 10. Metallic, sharp-shouldered suit One of the most impressive things about Villanelle's wardrobe is her ability to dress in both very feminine and more androgynous styles. I wanted to meet you for a long time. I've been watching you. Uh, watching me in a kinky way? While she looks great in a frilly dress, she can also rock outfits that were once seen more traditionally on men, with this suit being a perfect example. What is your name? Helen. Helen. Is that your real name? The tailoring is just flawless, and while in many ways it looks classic, the slightly metallic material makes it clear that it's anything but ordinary. This is the same stuff I was doing before. This is bullshit. What really makes the look stand out, however, is the sharp architectural shoulders of the jacket, which create an exaggerated silhouette shape. Number 9. Golf Outfit I am going to miss this. Looking like a prophylactic that can't play golf? If you ever wondered what Villanelle would wear to a golf course, you got to find out near the end of Season 3. Of course, she wasn't just going to sport a polo shirt and khaki pants. You can do it if you like. Kill him. One of us has to do it. If it means so much to you, you can do it. For the hybrid assassination golfing job, she opted for an over-the-top feathered jacket by Charlotte Knowles in a hue that matched the green of the course. Her Gucci trousers were in a complementing shade of green and made the entire outfit stand out boldly amidst the more standard golfing attire. Excuse me, sir. Will you help me get my ball? My mother's feeling and unsteady on her feet, and we don't want to go into the woods alone. Number 8. 70s Print Dress In early Season 3, when Villanelle was in Spain for her planned wedding, she wore a breezy dress in a 70s-inspired print that showed just how carefree she was feeling. No. Oh, yes. No. No. No? Really? No! Ah! With a shapeless shift silhouette and three-quarter bell sleeves, the piece is unique enough to make it clear it's not simply vintage. I'll think about it. Pairing the dress with tall cowboy boots created a juxtaposition that would have been notable in any era. The dress was by La Double J and is actually available for purchase for anyone who wants to recreate the look at home. Haven't you heard? I'm moving up in the world. <laughs> Number 7. Fuchsia Blazer and Floral Print Pants In Season 2, Villanelle is in Amsterdam and attempts to draw Eve out by assassinating someone in the city. Don't be a snob. This kind of work pays a lot of money. It's boring. While her strategy doesn't work, she does manage to wear an outfit that's basically the opposite of her foul mood when she meets with Constantine. The bold pink blazer was designed by Alexander McQueen, and as if that wasn't enough of a statement piece, she paired it with retro-printed floral pants by Etro. One of the best things about Villanelle's more feminine pieces is how they contrast with her shocking and violent behavior. <sighs> this is so boring! Number 6. Retro-printed suit in the finale of Season 3, Villanelle wears several notable outfits. More on that later. But one of our favorites has to be this graphic printed suit by British designer Halpern. How are you? How are you? Like some of the other pieces she wears in the third season, there is a definite 70s influence to this style, with the swirling pattern being almost dizzying to the eye. Imagine if I'd refused. What do you think I would have become? Interior designer, maybe. And if the print wasn't enough to take you back in time, the bell-bottomed silhouette of the trousers definitely will. Despite the fact that she's always performing covert operations, Villanelle clearly doesn't mind standing out in a crowd. Are you leading or am I? I have no idea. Number 5. Veil for the Dinner Party Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Villanelle definitely has a flair for the dramatic, 
as evidenced by the outfit she chooses for a dinner party partway through season two. Can you take your shoes off, please? What? Really? While wearing a veil may slightly obscure her face, the floor-length Victorian-inspired gown certainly doesn't draw attention away from her. Do you want to search me, too? What's the point? The structural shape of her polka dot headpiece is unique and visually interesting, adding an aura of mystery to her already intriguing appearance. I'm dying for a drink. But paired with the intricate black dress, it makes for one of the most striking and memorable looks of the series. Number 4. Shades of Pink When Villanelle is in Amsterdam in season 2, she pulls out all the stops in terms of her wardrobe. Wow, you look amazing. Can I take a picture of you for my Instagram? No. No, of course not. Don't be pathetic. Do you ever consider how much she has to pack to look this good all the time? While sitting by one of the city's many canals, she wears a gorgeous color block look featuring a pale pink top and brighter hued skirt. The pajama style top is by Rosie Asulin, and the fact that it's knotted at the waist makes it more daytime appropriate. By pairing it with a William vintage skirt that looks like a ball gown, she creates an overall look that's anything but casual. I think your palastra has made you go a little soft. Are you okay? You poor thing. Number 3. Yellow Coat Villanelle tends to follow a relatively consistent color palette, but this mustard yellow coat stood out as a notable and memorable look at the very end of the show's third season. I have a meeting with Eve Palestri. She's not here. Can I take a message? Oh, wait. The outer piece, which is by Lueve, features a cape-like construction and offsets the oversized and loose silhouette with an oversized feminine bow at the neckline. If the coat was seeming too conventionally stylish, the tough-looking Anne de Merlemeister lace-up boots added some contrast and visual interest. I don't want to do it anymore. Any of it. By capping off the season with this remarkable look, the character left us wanting more from future episodes. I think we all have monsters inside of us. It's just that most people manage to keep theirs hidden. Well, I haven't. Number 2. Printed Suit in Berlin In one of the most shocking moments to take place early in the series, Villanelle commits a stunning act of violence in a Berlin nightclub. During the scene, she's wearing a tailored Dries van Noten suit that's printed with a graphic pattern. That's Can ich fragen, wo sie diesen Schal haben? Meine Mutter hat ein Geschäft in Moschee. The sharp and stylish design of the outfit added to the drama of what was taking place. Actress Jodie Comer, who plays the character, actually said that this was her favorite look of the season, and mentioned that she considered buying it for herself after filming wrapped, but she refrained after thinking it seemed a little too villanelle. Stop. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Polka dot blouse and yellow pants. I want to smell like a Roman centurion. Who's coming across an old foe? Who in battle once hurt him greatly? Off white tool dress. <laughs> you know, you really don't have to be so dramatic. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't make me go in there. Let's go somewhere we can talk. Somewhere relaxing. Outfit for Oxford. I'm sorry about the complaints. Don't look so angry. I was just trying to get Eve's attention, but she does not care about your life at all, does she? Blazer with horses and metallic pants. Hello, Larry. Hello, Miss Thompson. <laughs> Hope you're having a pleasant day. Do be aware that the hotel now has a new guest. Blue floral print dress. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Poofy Pink Dress 
Thank you for making such an effort, Villanian. <laughs> Could our number one pick be anything else? We knew from the show's second episode that we'd be dealing with a totally different type of antagonist than we'd ever seen before when Villanelle walked the streets of Paris in this frothy pink gown. There are concerns about your state of mind. Okay. The dress in question was created by Molly Goddard, and its appearance on the show almost immediately brought the designer to fame. Have you been feeling any anxieties or stress recently? I had quite a heavy period last week, but other than that, I think I'm okay. Pairing the ultra-girly dress with chunky Balenciaga boots is a lesson in contrasts. The show's costume designer, Phoebe DeGay, knew that the piece for this scene had to say a lot about the character, and her efforts were clearly a success. I want to do it. You tell them that I'm fine. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.